What's up, NFL fans? I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and don't forget to check out and purchase your copy of our latest football game plan book, Stiff Arming Football Myths. We have these available in both PDF and paperback form. Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and welcome to another edition of Game Plan. We're going to hit the whiteboard to give you some X's and O's strategies on what the teams can do this week to come away victorious. This week versus the Carolina Panthers is going to be important. Actually, it's vital for Tampa Bay to stop the running game of Carolina. I'm going to show you what they can do. Go to a pseudo or even a 4-4 look to help stop the running game of the Panthers when they go with dual backs in the backfield and trying to run the read option. Show you what we're talking about here. Instead of putting an extra backer on the field, we're gonna drop the strong safety down in a 4-4 look, and we're gonna get double A gap pressure. We're gonna secure both backs on the outside, which will put the quarterback, Cam Newton, in the bind. So what you want your outside guys to do, play contain. He's gonna crash down here, push to the B gap, push to the B gap, try to get those guards here, because we're doing a cross with the backers, getting that double A gap pressure. Outside backer is solely responsible for the backs to their side. Strong safety walks down, and he's responsible for the backs to their side. So again, if they're coming this way, we know we have a guy there waiting for him, and that is responsible. So these ends can play extra aggressive versus Cam Newton. If he pulls the football and tries to get outside this way, Defensive end right there, cornerback's gonna play the field. Now you also have it going this way. Strong safety has it back. In can play right there. Aggressive trying to take down Cam Newton. Cornerback has the field. Free safety is also contained as well e to either side. Or if they wanna pass, you're manned up on the outside with the receivers. Tampa can do that versus the Panthers wide receivers and their free safety will be manned up on the tight end if this was a pass. But if this is a run running situation, you can pretty much effectively stop the running game and put it all on Cam Newton. Again, a little bit of gap exchange could take place as well, but we're gonna get into that later on in the video. But as of right now, if they're gonna stop the run, I would try to go extra aggressive, maybe a 4-4 look, try to get Cam Newton on the ground and slow those backs down in the backfield. The Carolina Panthers have success in the red zone because they have two outstanding tailbacks and they also have quote unquote Superman at quarterback and Cam Newton. I'm gonna show you what they can do this week versus Tampa Bay out of the diamond formation, a predetermined quarterback keep. Show you what we're talking about here. We're gonna leave both defensive ends unblocked. We're gonna leave him unblocked because he's gonna get taken away by the action of the play. And what we're doing, we're gonna trap this defensive end with the backside guard. And what we're doing, tackle is gonna work up, get the backer block. Center's gonna block down on this defensive tackle. Play side guard is gonna work up to the second level, get the mic backer block. Tackle's gonna try to wash down that defensive tackle here. And what Cam Newton is gonna do, he's gonna fake the handoff here. Back goes away, which holds this defensive end at bay. Now you're gonna have the other tailback work up, lead up into the hole to kick out this backer. Pulling guard comes, kicks out that defensive end. You show a little option to put him in more position to get himself blocked and Newton will run and follow the lead blocker, which would be the tailback in the hole, hopefully for a touchdown. I will utilize this in the green zone from the 10 yard line going in, five yard line going in. I think they could have some success getting seven on the board this week versus Tampa Bay. The biggest X factor in this ball game for the Buccaneers will be their ability to get defensive pressure against quarterback Derek Anderson. They have the benefit of not going against Cam Newton, who won't be out there making plays with his legs, and you know where Anderson will be in the pocket. Can they turn up the pressure to help that Bucks defense get off the field on third downs? And for the Panthers in this game, sticking with the defensive theme, I'm going with their defensive line. Right now, the Bucks' offensive line is having issues. More importantly, they are struggling to run the football. They're struggling to protect the quarterback back there in the pocket. Now, granted, some of those sacks are attributed to the quarterback because of the pocket presence or lack thereof, but I do believe the Panthers' defensive line has a very good opportunity this week versus Tampa Bay to cause a lot of havoc. I like the Panthers in this ball game. I think this will be a low-scoring football game. They don't have their most dynamic player in Cam Newton, although I do believe 
Derek Anderson will stabilize a little bit until Newton gets back. But defensively, this would be a slugfest. I think both defenses will show up ready to play, but I have to trust the Panthers' defense to make that one key stop to ultimately win the game. And I also want to give a huge shout-out to Panther Fan Forums and Buck Fan Forums for always showing football game plan support.